A memorial was dedicated today to the victims of the Dozier School for Boys. The school housed troubled boys and orphans for over a century and has been the subject of much scrutiny. As News 13's Alex Schleid tells us, many men have come forward claiming sexual and physical abuse from staff. Friday afternoon, survivors and allies of the Dozier School boys came together to commemorate a memorial. The monument that we're looking at today serves as many things. It serves as a stain on our state's history. It serves as a way to honor the boys, now the men and their families who were lost here or lost their lives here. And as a grim reminder to us that true cruelty exists and cannot ever, ever be ignored or overlooked. In the late 90s, a group of men who attended the school in the 50s and 60s began speaking out, sharing stories of physical and sexual abuse they endured at the hand of staff. At the age of 14 years old, I was here. Mistreated, beat, raped at 14 years old and was told that if I mentioned it to anyone, I would never see my family again. The men also alleged there were many boys that were beaten to death and whose bodies were buried on the school's ground. After the school closed in 2011, University of Southern Florida anthropologist Aaron Kimberly spent three years investigating. Dr. Kimberly could not physically do the total penetrating radar that should have been done because the state, after they closed the school, just allowed things to grow up. According to her thesis, Kimberly cited finding dozens of unmarked graves on the school's property. Survivors, however, are calling for the state to step in and finish her work. There are still bodies on this ground that needs to be found. The memorial sits next to the building survivors call the White House, where they claim a majority of the abuse took place. This statue behind me, I can't look at it. I can't look at it because it brings back memories. And I never would be able to forget. Survivors say the memorial is a step in the right direction, but the state needs to do more to ensure this never happens again. In Jackson County, Alex Schley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Officials plan to convert the still standing buildings into a museum. They hope this will help further educate the public about the school and the alleged abuse and murder that took place there.